In this video, I'm going to teach you how to run or check the similarity report of submitted assignments in Turnitin. Similarity reports is basically checking whether an assignment that was submitted in Turnitin is similar to other documents or content in the repository of Turnitin in online um, websites and pages and journals and periodicals. So it basically matches the paper to other sources. So as you can see here, um, there is already one submitted assignment in, in submitted file in one of the assignments that I created in Turnitin. And you can see here in the summary that the similarity report is 93% and it's it is colored red. So it, it's like a warning or a code red, wherein 93% of the submitted paper is similar to other sources. Now, to get a full view of the report, you can just simply either click the title here or click the percentage here. So I will just click that one. And then a new window will open. I just have to maximize. And then just wait for the paper to load. So as you can see, um, this is already the paper that was submitted by a student. Um, actually, I just copied and pasted it in one of the websites in the internet and for the purpose of the demonstration. So as you can see, um, there, is there are highlighted texts here. And then there are numbers here, 1 and 2. Now, how would you check the similarity report of this um, submission or of this file? So, as you can see here, there are um, icons here. And to check the details of the similarity report, you go to the icons which are in red. So, um, the first thing that you would want to check is, of course, the match overview, um, the 93%, if you click that one, you would see here the sources that is similar to the submitted paper. So the one here is the source that is similar to the sentences, paragraphs, and phrases that is also highlighted as one here. So that means this paragraph here with number one is actually similar with the source here, which is indicated with number one. So 65%. That means 65% of this paper is similar to this source. And then we also have here two in a purple. That means the paragraph here, the sentences here, is similar to a student paper submitted to the repository of Turnitin, which is basically... 28% of the entire paper. So that means 93% of the entire paper, that 65 plus 28, is similar. Or if you would like to say plagiarized. And then only 2%, if you can see here, the, the words and phrases or sentence that did not have any highlight, that means this is um, somehow original. Now if you're going to click the source here, you can also see here other sources which are also similar to the source of your um, submitted paper. So if you click this one, you can see here the internet source, the full detail of the internet source. And then if you click this one, you will be directed to the full source text. So as you can see, this paragraph, paragraph here is very, very similar to the full source text of the internet source. So that's how you check the similarity report. Let me X that one. And then if you also would check other submitted paper here, that, that means this is a submitted student paper in the Turnitin repository. This one is an internet source. There you go. And then just go back. And then if you also check this one, you can also see here the, the similar um, document, uh, the document that has a similar 
uh, words or phrases or sentences in the submitted document of your students. So that is basically how you would uh, see the details of the similarity report of the submission submitted files of your students. And then you can also click here the sources. There you go, details of the sources. And then there is also an option here to exclude sources. And then, of course, another option here is filtering and settings. For example, the student put here um, a reference or a bibliography of the submitted file. So you can actually exclude that one. And then, for example, here there is a quote here. You can also exclude quotes because that means the student is just basically quoting the, the reference that she has so you can exclude that one and then you also exclude some number of words and some per percentages or you can uh, you don't exclude by size and then you just have to simply apply changes so as you can see the when i apply the changes wherein i excluded quotes and i excluded bi bibliography the similar similarity report went down and if you check the document again see the quoted quoted um sentences or phrase is now uh, excluded in the similarity report so you can actually do that as a teacher and then you can also see here um, excluded sources. And then this one is the flag, uh, flags detected for this submission if there are hidden text or there are replaced characters in the document. So basically that's it. Um, I think the most important here is really the checking of the similarity, the match overview, and of course the filtering and then the settings that you would want to do or apply with the uh, file submitted by your students.